All right guys, next lab is the SCR thyristor lab. So this one we're gonna take a look at the SCR first. And first thing we're gonna do if you scroll down the lab here, is we're gonna use the multimeter on the diode scale to test to see whether the SCR uh, is working properly. So it says here, note, to change the digital multimeter to the diode test setting, press the shift button and then the diode button. Okay, so coming over here, uh, say you were on uh, DC voltage and you needed to get to the diode setting. Well, there's the symbol for the diode. So we need to get, to get there, we need to hit the shift and then this button here. Okay, so there you can see the same diode setting is being shown right here. So now we're in the diode setting. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we're gonna take the SCR out. The SCR is this bad boy right here. Let me just pull it out here. Okay, so we're looking at this guy right here, guys. Let's see if we can focus it in here. Okay, there's the symbol for the SCR. It has the anode, the cathode, and the gate. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this onto our breadboard. Uh, try not to short out the components on the board by placing it onto the board. If I placed it like this, then everything's gonna be shorted out by those jumpers on the bottom. Okay, even if I place it like this, then you can see that the SCR is going to be shorted out by this line on the bottom here. So what we want to do is we want to put it in so that nothing is touching between, you can see that there's no jumpers between any of the terminals of the SCR. Okay, excellent. Okay, now what do we do? Well, next thing we're gonna do uh, is we're going to reverse bias the SCR and apply a positive voltage to the gate. Okay, so essentially we're doing this right here. Let's just zoom in here. So for this guy, we are now going to reverse bias the SCR. You can see that we're putting the positive to the cathode and the negative to the anode. So this guy is basically a switchable diode. So if we reverse bias the SCR, regardless of what polarity we put to the gate, it should not conduct. Okay, so let's take our SCR here and we're gonna reverse bias this. Now these polarities here, I'm taking the blue being the negative, the red being the positive. And where am I getting those polarities? Well, I'm getting those polarities right from the meter here. Red being the positive and blue being the common or the negative. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to reverse bias this guy. So we're going to put negative to the anode and we're going to put positive to the cathode. Okay, at that point, let's see whether it's conducting or not. No, it's still open. The SCR needs a, a blip of current to the gate it actually, to actually conduct. So let's try, even though it's reverse bias, let's try, the lab says to put a positive voltage to the gate. So we're gonna put the positive to the gate. Okay, so now we have a jumper there between those guys and it's still open. Okay, well that makes sense because it was reverse bias. Let's just try this. I don't believe it asked for this in the lab, but let's take the reverse bias it and then just check the negative and put it to the gate and see whether this bad boy conducts when we put negative to the gate. And no, right? So as long as it is reverse bias, it doesn't matter what polarity we put to the gate, it's not going to conduct. Okay, so step two, forward bias the SCR and apply a positive voltage to the gate. Connect the multimeter as shown in figure 1B, which you can see in your lab, uh, and the diagram below. Well, here we can see that we have uh, positive to the anode and we have negative to the cathode now. So we forward bias that SCR. Uh, using the diode setting of the multimeter, measure the voltage across the anode and cathode of the SCR. The SCR is now forward biased. However, it won't turn on until a positive voltage is applied to the gate, so the meter should read open line. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got this guy set up now. We've got the SCR4 biased, and then we have positive to the anode. We have negative to the cathode, but there's no blip of current going to the gate. So at this point, it is still open. We need that blip of current to the gate. Okay, so is this guy conducting at this point? No. 
Next thing we need to do is we're now going to finally provide that blip of current. So with the jumper wire, short the gate to the positive lead. SCR is now 4 bias to the positive voltage applied to the gate, and the meter should read around 0.7 volts. Is the SCR conducting at this point? Yes. Okay, so let's see if that works. So next thing we need to do is we're now going to take the positive. So the gate needs a positive blip of current. Okay. And you can see that as soon as I put this in, let's move over to the meter here. As soon as we put the positive there, boom, it starts to conduct. Okay, so at that point, I have the positive now connected into the gate, and the SCR is for bias. Okay, next thing it's saying is the SCR should remain conducting after the gate voltage is removed. Remove the jumper from the anode to the gate, and observe if the SCR is still conducting. So the beauty of the SCR is that it's a, almost like a latching circuit. As soon as you re we remove this, then we should still get the SCR conducting. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can see that the SCR has now latched in, and we can see that it's still on, and it remains on until we remove one of those jumpers. Okay, so it's still latched in there. So now, at this point, the way to stop this guy would be to remove one of these leads. So I'm just arbitrarily going to remove one of the leads from the meter. And you can see at that point, it opens. And if I go and reapply that negative voltage to the SCR with no jumper going to the gate, then it remains open. It still needs that blip of current. So again, here's that blip of current going to the SCR. Boom, it's now conducting. I remove that jumper to the gate and it's still conducting and it's latched in. It is still latched in until I remove one of these guys and stop the current on the SCR, which then opens the circuit and waits for another blip of current to go to the gate. Excellent. So now we've figured out that the SCR is actually working. Uh, if your SCR is not working, if somebody's blown it up from a previous lab, then come and see me, grab another component, um, and we'll have that guy fixed up for next week. So next step, re response of an SCR to applied voltage without a gate current applied. Okay, well, so we're going to apply a voltage to the SCR, but we're not going to put a gate current. Well, we just saw before that without the gate current, the SCR is most likely not going to turn on. So first we'll establish the response of an SCR to applied voltage without the gate current. Carefully construct the following circuit using a 1 kilo ohm load resistor and a 100 kilo ohm gate resistor. Okay, we don't need very much current to that gate, so now we're using a very large resistor, 100,000 ohms, to reduce the current to the gate. Okay, so again we need the for this guy, let's scroll down here. We've got all our material list here. It looks like on this circuit, we're going to use uh, the variable DC supply. We're going to bring the positive up to the top here. So positive to the anode. We're gonna bring negative to the cathode. There's our load resistor at one kilo. Ohm. And there's our blip of current that we're gonna provide into the SCR using the 100,000 ohm resistor. So let's get that set up and then we'll come back. All right guys, so we're trying to get this circuit set up like this where we have uh, positive to the anode, we've got negative to the cathode, and we've got, at this point, we've got negative connecting into the gate here. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. We've got, positive to the anode okay we've got negative to the cathode and then we're going to apply a negative voltage so I'm going to put this jumper in, in a few seconds to provide a negative voltage so the negative voltage will come up and provide that gate with a negative pulse of current okay so let's scroll down here and take a look at the remaining part of the lab here so apply 24 volts DC to the four biased 
SDR circuit with a negative voltage applied to the gate. Okay, so we are coming off of these terminals right here, the DC output that's variable, zero to 25 volts DC. In order to get that voltage to come out right now, I've got zero volts coming out of there. So I'm now going to click on this to select the DC output and I'm going to ramp this guy up all the way to 24 volts. Takes a little bit of time here, 23, beauty, 24 volts. Okay, let's make sure that we have 24 volts. We're gonna take this guy, put this one on DC voltage. Okay, we'll take this, apply it to the positive, and take the other side, apply it to the negative here, right on, 24.197 volts. Okay, so now we're applying the voltage to that circuit at 24 volts. Okay. Next thing, use the digital voltmeter to measure the DC voltage across the anode and cathode terminals of the SCR. Okay, well, let's take a look. The SCR is going to take the AC, or sorry, the DC that's going here, and it's going to um, be able to turn it on and off depending on whether we have a current applied to the gate. So right now we're looking at the voltage across the SCR. I have not connected in the gate yet and the voltage is 24.196 volts, just like we saw before. Okay, so let's take that jumper and let's apply the negative voltage to that gate part of the circuit. Now, do you think anything's gonna happen to the voltage? Probably not because we said that it has to have a positive voltage to the gate. So again, the voltage there is 24.196 volts. Same as our source voltage. Okay. Use the digital voltmeter to measure the DC voltage across the one kilo ohm load resistor. Okay, well, we see all the voltage across the switch. Essentially, the SCR is just acting as a switch now. So, how much voltage do you think will be across the load? Probably nothing. Beauty, nothing across the load now. Excellent. So, that voltage across the SCR was our source voltage at 24.196 volts DC. We had zero volts across the one kilom load resistor. Is there any current flow through the load resistor? Well, there's no voltage, so there's no current. Uh, is the SCR anode more positive than the cathode? Yes. How did I come up with that? Well, right now I'm looking at the voltage across the SCR. I have the positive at the anode and the neg negative at the cathode and I have a positive voltage being seen on the meter. So it, we can see that it's forward biased, right? So at this point, it's forward biased, but it's not conducting it. All right, so next step, we're gonna forward bias the SCR circuit, and finally, we're gonna put a positive voltage applied to the gate. So reconnect the circuit below. Note that the connection to the gate has changed. Okay, so you can see here that uh, we still have Positive voltage being applied to the anode. Negative voltage being applied to the cathode. There's our load resistor at one kilo ohm, but now our resistor for the gate is now applied to a positive voltage. It says do not connect the 100 kilo ohm resistor yet to the gate. So we're first gonna forward bias it, make sure that it's not conducting, and then provide that pulse of positive current. So let's get this set up and then we'll come back. So we're trying to mimic this where we have the SCR, then the one kilo ohm load resistor right across the source, and then we've got our 100 kilo ohm resistor that's going to eventually tie into the positive of our circuit. So here we've got the SCR. There's our load resistor identical to the circuit that we had before. The anode is going to the positive. The cathode is going to the negative. Our load resistor is between the SCR and the negative, and I've placed the, you can see there's that 100 kilo ohm resistor, and it's just waiting for the jumper to tie into the positive of the source. Okay, next thing it's asking us is for a schematic of the, the layout that we've done. So here's a rough crude schematic here where we've got the positive and negative of our DC source, 100 kilo ohm resistor going to the gate, 
positive going into the anode, negative going to the cathode, and we've got our load resistor between the cathode and the negative of the source. Okay, let's see what we're doing next. Okay, next thing, apply 24 volts DC to the four biased SCR circuit. Without the 100 kilo ohm resistor connected to the gate, use the voltmeter and measure the DC voltage across the one kilo ohm load resistor. Okay, so we don't have uh, the resistor connected into the gate. So that means that this SCR should not be conducting yet. And we're being asked to look at the voltage across this load here. So it should be zero volts, right? So let's take a look. We're on uh, DC voltage here. And we're seeing nothing across that SCR. Okay, next thing it's asking us is uh, with the 100 kilo ohm resistor connected to the gate, use the voltmeter and measure the DC voltage with the one kilo ohm, uh, across the one kilo ohm load resistor. So now we're gonna provide a positive voltage finally to uh, that SCR. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at the, the meter so you can see it change instantly, but I'm gonna put this jumper in here and we'll take a look at the meter. And the meter is looking at the voltage across the load resistor, okay? So right now we can see that that jumper is in there and now the voltage across the load resistor is now 23.45 volts. A little bit of a voltage drop. Remember that the source voltage is around 24 volts, but we're having that voltage drop across that SCR. Remember it's a switchable diode. So there's going to be a voltage drop across that SCR. Okay. Next thing it says, uh, no, turn the power back off and on before starting the next step. Uh, without the 100 kilo ohm resistor connected to the gate, use the digital voltmeter, measure the DC voltage across the anode and cathode terminals of the SCR. Before we go there, let's just take out this uh, jumper here to the gate and see whether that SCR continues to conduct. Ah, yes, it's still conducting, right? So the SCR no longer has that positive voltage to the gate, but it has latched on, and that voltage is now being applied to the load resistor. Okay, now that guy is still conducting. The only way to stop that circuit now would be to turn off the power. If I turn off the power, then I'm going to have to uh, reset that voltage at 24 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break the circuit here so you can see that as soon as I break the circuit we have zero volts across the load resistor reconnect the circuit and we have no voltage being applied to that resistor until we provide that pulse of current here so I'm going to provide the pulse of current to the gate and you can see that across the load resistor boom and now it gets voltage and now when I remove that jumper that SCR has latched in, and we can see that we have the 24 volts from the source, little 0.5 to 0.7 volt drop across the SCR, and the remaining voltage is dropped across our load resistor. Beauty, let's pause it here, and then we'll set her back up, and we'll look at the voltage across the SCR. Okay, so just writing in those answers here, we got zero volts uh, without the 100 kilo ohm resistor to the gate, then as soon as we applied that gate voltage, the positive gate voltage, then we saw 23.45 volts dropped across the load resistor. And that's essentially our source voltage minus the 0.5 to 0.7 volt drop across the SCR. Now we've turned the power off, so we've unlatched the circuit, otherwise the SCR would remain on. Next one it says, without the 100 kilo ohm resistor connected to the gate, using the digital voltmeter, measure the DC voltage across the anode and cathode terminals, of the SCR. So now we're looking at the switch because the SCR is essentially just a switch at this point. We do not have the positive voltage being applied to the gate and the voltage across the SCR is our source voltage of 24.2 volts. Okay, so let's write that in here. We said that without this guy then we're going to have 24.2 volts DC applied across that SCR. Okay, with the resistor connected in to the gate, now we're going to see the voltage and how it ch changes across the SCR. Well, as soon as we put that resistor in, 
then the SCR should conduct. But remember that the SCR is not like a normally open switch. It's going to have a voltage drop similar to the diode. So let's take a look now. Here again, our voltage is our source voltage across the SCR. We're now going to provide that blip of current into the gate. The SCR has now conducted. We saw that earlier in the video. And there's our beauty, 0.74 volts drop across the SCR. So again, it's not like a normally open switch that closes and doesn't have a voltage drop. It has a small voltage drop across the SCR. Let's see if I can get this to, there we go. So the voltage that we saw was uh, 0.74 volts DC. Okay, so small voltage drop across the SCR. Is the SCR anode more positive than the cathode? Uh, yes. How do we know that? Because we have positive to the anode, negative to the cathode. Uh, therefore, the SCR is forward biased. What's going on? Easy now. Okay, so it's forward biased. At this point, is there any current flowing in the load resistor? Yes. All right, so we're forward biased. At this point, is there any current flowing through the load resistor? Yes. Is the SCR conducting? Well, it is conducting. Without breaking the circuit or shutting off the supply voltage, is there any way you could turn the SCR off? Basically, no. The only thing I could come up with was you could put like a resistor in line with the load, slowly reduce the current, I mean, you're not turning off the supply voltage, but you are stopping the current. The SCR needs a small amount of current in order to stay on. So we could slowly increase the resistance, which would decrease the current, which would eventually turn the SCR off. Next thing we're going to do for a better visual of the SCR latching on, uh, we're going to place the LED at 20 milliamp in forward bias in series with the cathode of the SCR, apply a positive voltage to the gate, and observe that the LED remains on until you break the circuit. So why didn't we have this in there before? Well, as soon as we put the SCR in there, sorry, the SCR, the LED. So now our LED is in line in series with our load resistor and it's getting our current from the SCR. Well, now I'm looking at the voltage across the SCR and it's a lot higher. So the LED will skew the, the supply voltage across that SCR. So we're just doing this to have a visual of the SCR conducting. At this point, we have the SCR forward bias, positive to the anode, negative to the cathode. We have the LED forward biased as well, but we do not have any current flowing to the LED. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide a positive voltage to the gate, and the SCR will t turn on. It will fire on that LED. Very nice. And then we will take away that gate, then the... SCR is still conducting and the LED is still fired on until we break that circuit. Once we break that circuit, obviously it turns off and again it's waiting for another pulse to go to that SCR to actually turn it on. Once the SCR is on, it's latching in and keeping that LED on. Beauty. Now we've got a visual to see that it is latching on and stays on even though that positive current is no longer applied to the gate.